Join me right here on the floor, guys. I took my shoes off for the stretch. Sometimes I feel like the shoes pull on my hips, making my hip flexors very tight. So I take them off to stretch. It's the best thing I've ever done. So I'm in crisscross applesauce, and I want you to feel equal power between the sit bones. You're gonna sit tall. You're gonna round up through your shoulders and press back. You're gonna inhale, exhale through this motion. As you do that, I want you to feel your hips slowly sinking down into the ground. See how high my knee is right here? Because my hips are tight. But my breath, I'm allowing my knee to fall. I'm allowing it to feel the stretch. When you're ready, switch which leg is in front. And let's repeat that. Sit tall, round through the shoulders, close your eyes and let the breath just take you. One more. When you're ready, guys, take your hands, put the feet back in any position that you want. Grab on just in front of your ankle. Encourage your spine to come taller. Inhale, exhale. I want you to bend an ear over to a shoulder. As you do that, I want you to take the connecting shoulder and encourage it down away from the ear. You should not feel any pain here, just a gentle stretch. Round to the center, slowly. And other side. Encourage your back up to come taller. Your core is engaged, but slightly soft. I wouldn't get too crazy with it. It's definitely there to support your lower back, but let it breathe too. Let it have some room to breathe. Let's do that again. Circle it to the front. And drop that ear. See if you can drop it even lower. Inhale, exhale, and to the center, guys. I want you to take your legs. I want you to bring them out into a bent knee to start. Take your hands, grab underneath, right by, right underneath the hamstring close to the knee. Sit tall. Now I want you to round back. So use behind your knees as an anchor and round through that lower spine. Inhale, scoop up that belly and exhale, pull yourself back up to a nice tall spine. Repeat it again, inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, scoop, pull yourself back up to standing. You should feel that stretch in the lower back through the thoracic spine. It should feel amazing. Exhale, round, hold. We're gonna drop it to the ground the next time. Inhale, exhale, come up tall. Exhale, scoop. Hold it here. We're going to gently bring ourselves down to the mat by sliding our hands along through the hamstrings all the way down to a long body stretch on our mats. Stretch your side to either side of the room, guys. Stretch your hands, stretch your feet. Feel your back come off of the mat. You are stretching through that lower back. But at the same time, your core is slightly engaged so it doesn't overextend. Inhale, exhale. One more. I want you, as you exhale, release the hands down to the side. Feel that relaxation through your chest. Inhale. And stretch, exhale. Now bring one knee up. Grab just above the shin, guys. Drive that knee in, stretching out, again, the lower back, the glutes, everything that worked hard. Keep the breath flowing here. If you want to come deeper, you can take your hands lower towards your ankle, bring yourself up into a small ball, hug it just for a second, release down. Take opposite hand over knee and gently guide that knee over the midline until your toe is tapping just outside of the elongated knee. Nice little torso rotation here. If you have a bad back, you can absolutely stay right here. Just shorten the range of motion. 
Back to the middle, other side. You guys, I know we live busy lives and it's very difficult to stretch after a workout. We immediately just want to drink water and eat our carbs and protein and carry them with our day. But stretching is so very important to keep us healthy so we can come back for a stronger workout. If you're injured, you'll be gone for longer and then you'll be so upset. Coming back to the middle, guys. Stack up the legs. You can stay here. Hug yourself into a tight ball. If you want to get deep into the stretch, you can extend the legs up. Hold it here. Hug tight into that ball. Release it down, stack the legs. I want you to flex and point the toes. We're stretching out the calf muscles, releasing all that tension back there. Flex and point. You can absolutely be in tabletop, no big deal. Move through the breath. We're gonna come to standing. In three, two, Let's hold that flex position just for a second. It feels good. If you want to get deeper, you can take the two hands, place them on the balls of your feet. You can drop one leg down, let it hit the ground, and just feel that stretch. And switch it up. One side might be more flexible than the other, totally normal. And come up tall, my loves. One hand across the chest. You're not pulling it. You're just encouraging it to a nice, strong stretch. Elongate through the crown of that head, pressing the shoulder away from the ears. Come overhead for those triceps. Using a big breath, go ahead and just switch to the next tricep. You're leading that hand down the center of your back right here. Nice and strong. One more big breath. Let's take that hand across. Thank you so much for working out with me today, guys. That was amazing. I truly hope you enjoyed that last stretch. Take your hands, engage them behind you, press that chest that release all that tension. Your hands can stay hovered or you can tap them down. Now I do want you to release those ribs and let yourself feel that stretch. Big cleansing breath. Up. I love you guys. Go to workout today.